going to find common logarithms with a calculator. This is 12.5a. We're in chapter 12. We have 12 previous videos for this chapter. You can click on the description if you need help. So base 10 logarithms are called common logarithms. And they're useful because they're of the same base as the decimal numeration system. And before we had calculators, common logarithms were used extensively for calculations. The abbreviation log is used for the logarithmic function base 10. If we see log 100, it means log base 10 of 100. 100 is equal to 10 to the what power? To the second power, right? Well, on scientific calculators, on some scientific calculators, I should say, the key for the common logarithm is marked log. That's the button. And to find the common logarithm of a number, we enter that number and then just hit the log key. It's really easy. So if we want to find log 475,000 on this scientific calculator, we would hit 475,000 and just hit the log button. Okay? And that would get, tell us it was approximately 5.67669361. See? We can find this one. We just enter 0 .00372 and hit the log button. It tells it's a negative 2.42945706. Now you can also use your phone. If you turn your phone horizontally this way, most phones have a scientific calculator in them. You have it upright vertically, it's just going to be a simple calculator. So try turning it sideways. So on your phone calculator, what you would do to find this log 475,000, you press the log button first. Then you enter the 475,000, 475,000, and you press the close parentheses key. Because when you hit the log button at first, it's going to put the opening parentheses first for you. Okay? So then all you're going to have to do is put in the 475,000 and press the close parentheses key and hit equal, and it's going to give you that approximate amount. Okay? So that's if you're using your phone. Just make sure you turn it sideways, otherwise you're not going to see that log key. You're just going to have a simple calculator. All right? So hopefully that will help you and you'll be able to do common logarithms on your cell phone or on a scientific calculator, all right? We're going to talk about finding common logarithms from tables in the next video. That'll be 12.5b, and you can check out the previous 12 videos and a link to the Algebra 2 playlist in this video's description, all right? Have a great day. Bye.